Hi, I'm Graham from Super Tips, and I'm going to walk you through how to install a bluefin on your car. It's a pretty simple process, kind of varies depending on vehicle. So there's a couple of differences, but uh, this is broadly speaking how you do it. You can see on this Audi A4, the OBD port is located underneath the uh, dash next to the throttle pedal. So you plug in there and follow the prompts on the screen of the bluefin. It's going to walk you through every single thing that you need to do, so just follow the prompts. So here it says check ignition off, press the Y key, turn ignition on, press the Y key again. When it says turn ignition on, that means just the dashboard alive, look for stuff like the engine management light, airbag light, that sort of thing. And that will show you that the ignition is alive and will allow the bluefin to talk to the car's ECU. Bluefin will communicate with the vehicle. Read time on a bluefin will vary depending on the type of car. So in this instance, it's very, very short. Some cars can take up to 20, 25 minutes to read. This car takes about 10 or 15 seconds. Very, very quick saving original process there. And then the bluefin will say, turn the ignition off. So follow the prompts. original saved connect to PC so now you need to unplug the bluefin from the car find your laptop or desktop PC and send the file to us you'll need the bluefin desktop software on your PC just to make the connection to us uh, there's a separate video teaching you how to install that that sort of thing uh, you'll find a USB cable in the box underneath the left hand side plug into the back of the bluefin, plug it into your PC, watch the screen of the bluefin, it should light up and say waiting and then connected to PC. Now you know that everything's okay. Start up the bluefin desktop software using this shortcut. And you'll see some details here filled in with my details just uh, for this vehicle, but the more data you give us there, the better. Helps us identify what vehicle you've got and track you down if you ever need any help. Push the connect button and that will send us your car's original file to be worked on. Bit of text here telling you exactly how long it's going to take. Um, so now you wait. Your car is usable in the meantime, um, so no problems there. We'll drop you an email when your file is ready to download. So you'll get a new email much like that one. Hit the connect button again and you'll call home to our server and our server will say, okay, here's the files for you. Again, depending on the type of vehicle will depend on how long you spend doing this. Um, I've cut this a bit short, but it takes about 20 minutes to get this part sorted uh, for this type of vehicle. And once you see this pop-up message here, you can take the bluefin out to your car and program it. If you don't see that pop-up message, if you're having problems, give us a call um, or drop us an email on the technical line. Uh, and we'll do our best to help you out. So you plug back into the car, and once again you follow the prompts on the screen of the Bluefin. So it's going to say install Bluefin, yes or no. Again, depending on the different types of vehicles, you'll get a different message here. You'll notice that the dash of the car, you'll get a lot of messages pop up, a lot of failure modes, that sort of thing, because we're putting the car into a diagnostic um, mode. The car will respond differently to what you've normally seen. Uh, different vehicles do different things. So this one, for example, all of the tire pressure management's failed and all that sort of thing. Um, that all gets cleared at the end of the programming process. So don't panic if that sort of thing happens on your car. Once you get to the end of the process, the uh, little progress bar on the screen of the bluefin will fill up there. When it fills all the way to the end, the bluefin will chunter through, clear out some of those errors that have been created by programming the car. So you'll hear the car clunk a few times, perhaps depending on the type of vehicle. Uh, the wipers sometimes go on some vehicles, that sort of thing. But it's nothing to worry about, all the errors do get cleaned out. Follow the prompts on the screen, in this case it just says bluefin installed. Some cars you have to toggle the ignition, that sort of thing, but the bluefin will tell you to do that, so you don't need to worry. They will just say, Bluefin installed, please turn ignition off and unplug. So you'll see me do that in a moment. Once you've unplugged from the car, that's it. The Bluefin is installed. So 
take it out, put it somewhere safe, keep it in the box, and take your car out for a test drive because it's going to feel better now. Um, and let us know how you go.